One favorite thing as a bus enthusiast in Singapore is to settle the public bus routes. From an interesting landmark to the history, to its own uniqueness of certain bus services. While some bus services have a similarity, we will showcase them into a topic. If you like to adventure on public bus routes and get to know the history like me, you're in the right place. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore! In this episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore, the may showcase one more cross-border bus service that sounds rather unpopular due to various reasons. However, residents of Tidwai, Bukit Batok West and Jurong East use the bus service more on the domestic route. If you already guess what bus service the ME is talking about, then congrats! In 2004, SBS Transit and the Sultan Johor introduced Service 160 planning between Jurong East and Johor Bahru. Many of you thought that why would the bus service start from Jurong East? That's pretty simple. Johorians working on Panjiu Road and students studying along Bukit Batu Road, ITE College West and Dunham Secondary School will benefit Service 160 as the daily commute. Not only that, but workers along Woodlands Road will also benefit to board Service 160 in case Service 170 arrives later. Unlike Service 170, the domestic sector of Service 160 brings residents of Bukit Panjang, Teg Wai and Bukit Batu West as the only bus service to and for Juno East. However, in the recent years before the pandemic, the frequency of service buses on weekdays peak hour and weekends full day are more than half an hour. With no downward from Bukit Panjang towards Juno East, commuters don't have any choice but to wait for service buses zero, even if the frequency is more than 25 minutes. In 2018, service buses zero amends to muscling towards Johor Bahru to avoid the massive gridlock and reduce the waiting time by at least 45 minutes. In the same year, the LTA introduces Service 160A as a domestic short working service from Jurong East and terminates at Bukit Batu Road opposite Dunham Secondary School. Buses of Service 160A will download from Dunham Secondary School to Jurong East as Service 160 domestic during peak hours. However, residents of Tate Wai, Bukit Panjang, and Johorians well question on why does Service 160A ends at opposite Dunham Secondary School? Specifically, why use APAD buses? By Singapore law, there isn't a need for services 160A and 170A to use APAD buses. Unfortunately, the APAD Band A22 and former scanner QB04 deployed on Service 160A as a result of a long waiting time on the parent route. Johorians and residents of Tate Wai and Bukit Panjang were furious to let LTA withdraw Service 160A for good. I mean, there isn't any demand for Service 160A. Today, students of ITE College West often use Service 160 for Teba Gardens and Padang Gardens via Service 143 and 143M. Jurong East via Service 24, if Service 160 didn't arrive at the bus stop, Park Oasis, and Bukit Batu Fire Station. Also, Service 160 is the only direct bus service between Jurong East and Tidwai plus Bukit Panjang. Service 160 uses MAN 822 in both Euro 5 and Euro 6 from X, SMRT buses and Tower Transit. What do you think? Leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching and do follow us on Instagram at Gallery of TIB12340.